There are 700,000 burglaries in the UK every year. Me and my housemate were just in the house and someone's just come and robbed us. That we've been broken into and we don't know if they're still in the house or not. Somebody's just broken the door in. But right across the country, dedicated police teams are on the offensive, waging war against the criminals who steal from local homeowners. Police, come and open the door, otherwise entry's going to have to be forced. For the victims of these crimes, it can take months, even years, to come to terms with what's happened. And the fact that they've so brazenly done it as well, very angry. But in this series, we're about to show them and you how we can all beat the burglars. This is Crime Scene Rescue. On today's show, we meet Amrit and Wendy, a couple fighting to overcome the trauma of being burgled. Right, kiss. Love you. Love you too. Since they moved in a year ago, they've worked hard to create a comfortable home for themselves. But now their safe haven has been destroyed after their home was ransacked. I feel absolutely sick that... Uh... They think they've got the right to be able to do what they've done. I really do. And as the police attempt to track down the criminals, we try and put the heart back into their home. Oh, thank you very much. It's really touched my heart. Oh, God, it's lovely. Like many places in the UK, West Yorkshire faces the ever-present threat of burglary. And last year, the police here dealt with over 14,000 break-ins. I'm going to join them on the front line to see how they go about tackling the problem. But while I'm here, I also want to do everything I can to help the victims of this terrible crime. Police emergency. I am just come from work and somebody broken my back door. It's just after nine in the evening and another burglary has come in. When did you go out to work, sir? At seven o'clock I finished. I just come in home and I see flags are everywhere and I think oh, what's wrong. And I still go up and I see, oh my God, things are gone. PC Graham Lawton is attending the scene at Amrit and Wendy's house. The distraught couple recently returned home from work to find their home had been ransacked. This is the internal patio door, which has been forced. There's a blunt mark there, which looks like a screwdriver. It appears the burglars broke the lock on the exterior door to gain entry via the conservatory. I couldn't quite believe what I'd seen. Somebody broken into a house and taken some very precious things that are precious to us. Um, we've worked hard all our lives, OK, to, to get ourselves things, and somebody thinks they've got the right to walk into my house and take my stuff. A heartbroken Amrit and Wendy head upstairs with PC Lawton to see what's been taken. Even though they've left his bank cards, the burglars have rifled through Amrit's wallet and taken all his money. But that's not all that's gone. Our daughter is coming up for the weekend. It's her birthday. We brought her some stuff for her birthday. They've taken that as well. The offenders have been in this room and, as you can see, they've made a, quite an untidy search, pulling out drawers. PC Lawton continues to check what other items have been taken. In here, there's been quite a lot of jewellery. Um, they've been selective about what they've taken, but they've taken some expensive items of Asian gold. And I've taken away, I just noticed they've taken all my earrings. I had a bag of earrings there, my gold watch there. The burglars have stolen a large quantity of gold from this dejected couple. Amrit had purchased much of the gold as an investment, but some of it also had great sentimental value as his parents had given it to Wendy as a wedding gift. It's like heart deep inside somewhere, you know what I mean? Can't be because, replaced, can Yeah, it? you can't replace, it's not with money, not with anything else, you know, because it's something. Now my parents are not anymore here. Oh, it's make me upset a little bit. Mm, okay. It's like... Mm. You know, it's not, money is not like some memories. It's very important for you, you know what I mean? I've heard about Amrit and Wendy's plight and I desperately want them to feel safe in their own home tonight. 
So, as a priority, I've arranged for a locksmith to come round and fit a new top-of-the-range lock to the back door. Meanwhile, PC Lawton sets about listing everything that's been stolen. As well as the precious gold and a birthday present for Wendy's daughter, the burglars have taken two laptops and two digital cameras, one of which had irreplaceable photos of Amrit's late mother on it. It's been a really traumatic evening, but I hope that the new lock on their door will at least allow them to get a little bit of sleep tonight. It's the next morning, and the police have arrived at Amrit and Wendy's. And Sergeant Pamela Wright is heading up a team of officers who are about to go door to door to check if any of the neighbours saw or heard anything relating to the burglary. OK, so you've all got your addresses, so off we go, let's get on and get it done. Thanks, Sarge. Scenes of crime officer Chris Barley has also turned up, and he gets straight to work searching for forensic evidence. Sometimes mornings are a bit difficult because of the dew, but in this case we've been fine. We have received some information from the members of the public that live here. One, that there is CCTV that may have caught somebody. We've got to check that out. And also that there was a suspicious character seen in the area. Um, we've got a brief description of that person. So we'll be passing that forward to our intelligence department and uh, hopefully it will lead us to uh, arrest. Unfortunately, we've not found anything identifiable like fingerprints or footwear. I can say that the, uh, the offender's probably been wearing gloves, probably woolen gloves. As we've come through, we've seen several uh, glove marks on various items as they've gone through the house. While the police are intent on catching the criminals, I'm determined to help Amrit and Wendy in any way I can. And when you've had a chance to, to look through now and find out all the items that are missing and, and there's a lot that's gone, isn't there? A lot. I had a very old, very old jewellery box that even the lid was slightly broken on it, but I kept things in there from when I was a kid. And in there, my dad had made me, which my dad's been gone now um, about 20 years, and he made me a ring out of an old shilling. Oh. And they've taken that. It's not important to them but it meant the world to me. It's of no value, but why did they want that? Samrit, those photographs obviously had a massive meaning to you because they were your last memories of you and your mother. Of course, yeah, this is the last moment what I spent with my mother, you know, all these photographs, all these memories, they all kept in my laptop and all these memories are gone. You know, these are things that are not important to them. They've taken everything, haven't they, baby? Mm. So, so much to you, yeah. clearly, clearly. Um, it's upsetting me, but no, well, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised it upsets you, Wendy. It's an awful thing to happen. No one has the right to make you feel like that in your own house, and I'm determined to, to sort this out and let's get you fixed up. Let's make you feel nice and safe and secure and try and give you your home back. I've been really touched by this couple who've really been through the mill. I'm making it my personal mission to overhaul the security of their home, as I can't bear the thought of them ever having to go through another burglary. Time to get on the phone and assemble a crack team of local tradespeople to help me fix up their house. Hi Gary, it's Rav. Mark, it's Rav, how are you? Hi, is that Barry? I'm very well, thank you, Faye. I'm actually after a bit of a favour though. Do you reckon you can help me out with something? I'm trying to fix up their property and make it as safe as possible. I want to do something nice for them on the inside and in the bedroom particularly that was completely rifled through by the offenders. We're looking at sort of changing the colours and just making it feel like a different room for them and make it feel nice for the couple again and sort of give them their home back. Do you think you can help me with that? Lovely. While my team of local tradespeople are preparing to do battle with the security at the house, the police are continuing to track down their stolen items. They've sent a description of Wendy and Amrit's gold round to local shops. This is a tactic West Yorkshire police regularly use as it cuts the chain of stolen goods and can lead to the recovery of items. Back at the house, it's time to crack on with the security upgrade. First person on the scene 
is the crime prevention specialist, Dave Harrison. He's here to give me some expert advice. So Dave, you've had a quick scout around the property just yeah. to see what improvements we'll be able to make. Um, let's start with the front. Is there anything there we can do to, to strengthen that or, or just improve the security as, yeah, it, it, as a whole? Yeah, I think to improve the, the door, uh, looking at the locking system, uh, it looks quite warm. So the handle itself mm. needs to be replaced as well. Also, a very quick point. I see they've got a light just on the, on the top of the porch area there almost. Um, if, if they've got a light, it's got to work really, doesn't it? Absolutely. Um, I mean, it, it, it's, it's there for decoration. Obviously, it does help them because you can actually see it's, it's plate glass through the door. So you can actually see anybody who's, who's outside. So that will help. And then, of course, if we have some additional lighting uh, for the vehicles when they, when they get parked down here, Okay, so if we put some lighting on the side, you'd like to see it really nice and high. Yeah, well, it, it stops the offender from actually getting to it. Okay, so that's the front and the side. Let's go around the back and there's a few changes you think we can do around there. In the war against the burglars, it's important to make your home look safe. Criminals will always go for the easiest target. Okay, Dave, obviously the rear of the property now, and one thing that strikes me straight away is that really old, crusty alarm box. To me, it gives the impression it is not working and that's got to go, isn't it? Uh, yes, it has, uh, and both boxes look as if mm. uh, there's no maintenance going on, possibly don't work. We can see here on, on the patio door there, the lock, obviously this was initially where the intruder got in. We've changed that, yes. and is that to the standard that you want to see? That's to the standard, we're happy with that. Good. Through the conservatory, there's the internal patio door. Again, the intruders forced their way through that. Is there anything we can do to strengthen that? Yeah, I think we can put some uh, interior lock in, uh, locks on there and also it's going to form part of the uh, alarm system. There's no time to waste. We need to get straight on with the security overhaul at Wendy and Amrit's and the first members of my eager team of helpers has arrived. Chris is fitting a new top of the range alarm system and Ian is installing exterior motion sensor lights. A good visible alarm is a great deterrent to scare off the thieves. So really, you've put this system in to make it as hard as possible yeah. for any intruder to, to come That's in. That's correct. So you put contacts on the front door. Yeah. Now a contact, for those that don't know, is two points that meet, and when you open the door, if the alarm's set, when that contact is broken, the alarm's going to sound. That's correct, yes. And you've done the same on the back um, door, because you know that that's where the intruder did get in. Yes. So once this is locked, if someone was somehow to get in and, and to force that open, the alarm's going to sound. Yeah. And if they, if they do manage to get through that, which is highly unlikely, yeah. we've got a second defence, which is a PIR. So that's sending invisible beams through, so if anyone was to walk in and break that beam, the alarm would sound. Now, it does sound great. The problem we had with a couple that lived here is there was an old system installed already. It was too complex for them. You've thought about that, yeah. and you've got something very, very simple, haven't yeah, you? Very simple that? now. What we can do is use just a standard key fob. It's like what you use for your car. Mm -hmm. You press a button, and it's so simple, you've got unlock and lock. So, nice and easy, and what I love is your little touch uh, that, that I've noticed, I love that. You've actually put Wendy's name on it, so they know who's his yeah, who. Who's his own. Chris, this is absolutely fantastic, and I'm sure the couple are going to be really, really pleased with what you've done. So do I. Outside, Ian is finishing off by fitting the exterior lights high up, so they can't be easily smashed. But I also want to do something extra for this lovely couple who have had such a terrible time. It's just disgusting and it's wrong, very wrong. And I hope they can live with themselves. But at the end of the day, I don't expect they care anyway. Their bedroom was targeted by the burglars and it now holds upsetting memories for Amrit and Wendy. I want to transform it and create a new fresh space for them. Designer Faye Butterworth is here to help. What I want to do as a little extra, as well as taking care of the security on the outside of the house, is give them a place where they can almost forget about the burglary, give them a, a fresh start and a, yeah. and, a, and a place to relax. And I think we can do that in this bedroom. Now you've got a, a few examples here yeah. uh, of different schemes that you could do. So which one, after speaking to Amrit and Wendy, are you going to go for? Well, I think after speaking to um, the couple, that I think the best option for them would look at something along the lines of the Sheep Boutique. So we want to give them a nice monochromatic feel to the room so it's nice and neutral mm -hmm. with an accent colour brought in. That way in future if they do sort of get bored of a colour they can actually very easily change it. 
Okay, so that's that's the colour scheme. Anything else you're going to do? Yeah, we're going to rechange the furniture. The storage is obviously somewhat of an issue in this room. It's quite minimal, isn't it? It yeah. is, yeah. And we don't have sort of matching bedside units. Mm -hmm. And sort of we've got a bit of an issue with the TV over here. So furniture is key in here and storage is key. So we need to address all of those issues for Wendy and Amrit. Yeah, it sounds fantastic. I'm sure they're going to be really, really happy with that. Hopefully, Faye's ideas for their bedroom will raise the couple's spirits. It's no wonder they're shaken. Around 87% of people who've been burgled report being emotionally affected. It's 6.30 in the morning, and Amrit and Wendy are preparing to leave their home so we can move in to get cracking on the bedroom and continue overhauling their security. Right, yeah. kiss. Love you. Love you too. Since the burglary, this dedicated couple have been through a huge range of emotions, but now they are looking ahead. I'm not going to let what's happened to us spoil our future, and uh, we're going to try and put it behind us and move on. I desperately want to make Amrit and Wendy's future a bright one, and I'm not alone. It's the next part of my transformation, and my band of community-minded tradespeople are arriving, keen and eager to help. OK, ladies and gents, thanks for rushing over here so quickly. This is Amrit and Wendy's house, and recently they were burgled. And not only was an amount of gold and computer equipment stolen, but also the last pictures Amrit had of himself and his late mother. They've gone. As you can imagine, the couple are completely devastated by what happened, and I need your help to change that. What we do have is a very deserving couple that really needs your help. What we don't have is an awful lot of time. So let's get in there and get this place fixed up. Hang on, I might be glued that side. Uh, 179. What might be worth doing, Steve, if we can get just a, a coat of white around that so then the electricians can fit that light because it's a, it's a circular one, but it's flush. We haven't got any room for her, so I don't want anything cut. The overhaul of the bedroom is taking shape. Meanwhile, downstairs, the security upgrade is also picking up the pace. It's uh, an anti-snap lock that I'm putting in. Basically, it's got break-off points, so if a burglar does attack the door, it'll just break off, it's weakened, um, and then it'll basically shut your door down. Babe, it looks like a different room already. You've obviously done loads of work. Tell me what's happened so far and what's still to, to go. Right, the guys have gone great guns today. Uh, wallpapers have been stripped. Um, all the paper, the original paper that was on, uh -huh. was all lifting back. All the painting's finished now. Right. Michelle, at the moment, is doing the soft furnishing. She's getting on with the foil. Well, in fact, Michelle, what are you actually doing over there? It looks like you're, you're hemming something. Is I that am, what? Yes. Yeah, yeah I'm just doing? getting the length of the voil. We're trying to get the voil, obviously, to sit on the uh, windowsill here. So I'm just hanging it up and uh, pinning it so that I can then seam it. And it's not just because you think it, it looks really nice yeah. that you put it on. There's, a, there's another reason why you've done that, actually, Faye, isn't it? That's right. Originally, the couple had a wooden blind up, but mm. we obviously take that down. We're having lovely full-length curtains on there. But from a security point of view, we want some a paint list to the window. So this was just to avoid anybody looking in. So that's where we're just going to put that in. Yeah, a bit more privacy in Absolutely, here as well. Absolutely, yeah. All right, then, girls. Well, I'll let you get back to it. Fantastic. Loads of work to do. And I'll, I'll bring you a strong coffee. Yes, <laughs> that'd be lovely. <laughs> While my team of local heroes are beavering away at the house, back at Police HQ, the investigation into the burglary continues. The property which was stolen in the burglary, which was uh, obviously electrical items like the laptops, um, certain programs can be installed on them, tracking software. Um, that's something which obviously we advise everyone who has property of that kind of nature to get, whether it be your iPhone or the laptops. And then obviously it gives us a better opportunity of recovering that property. The main focus on this is the jewellery for us, and that is something we would like to get back for Amrit and uh, Wendy. Appreciate it holds dear sentimental value to them. We're hoping that um, as a result of the inquiries we're conducting with the jewellery shops in and around Leeds, that uh, we will generate some inquiries back, uh, which may lead to some suspects. Well, that's good to hear. And as night falls, my troops are still hard at work. 
quite late in the day, so we're just having the carpet finished being laid now by Gary down there. Um, next thing on the agenda is Michelle and I are going to get the bed upstairs, get that put together and constructed, ready for the wardrobe guys in the morning. Uh, just pull some time back this evening to make sure that by tomorrow we're going to be on schedule and have all the reveal done. It's early morning, and there's still lots of work to do before Amrit and Wendy return home. All right, Lee, I'm just going to interrupt you there. Um, tell me what you're doing at the moment. Um, fitted wardrobe, just putting the shelf in. So the point of having a fitted wardrobe here, is it going to make the most of the space? Because obviously you haven't got a lot to work with, have you? Well, yeah, it just minimises the space. By the time we've got the doors in, they've got the mirrors on to feel like a different room altogether. And it's not just the bedroom that's getting attention. Perfectionist Faye has nipped downstairs to paint around where the alarm was fitted. It's nice to be able to give back and help people out, you know, give them something really nice after the experience they've been through. You know, it's just, it's good for the soul. Upstairs, the team are on the home straight and they are just completing the finishing touches to the bedroom. Before Amrit and Wendy return home, Crime Prevention Officer Dave Harrison has come round to review all of the new security measures we've put in place. We've added a new lock to the back door, front door, and a sensor to the sliding patio door. A new top of the range alarm has also been fitted, and we've added two exterior lights to discourage any would-be burglars from sneaking around in the dark. So what's Dave's verdict? So in conclusion, uh, when you look at the security of the house, uh, before uh, all this work was done, uh, it was really poor, uh, but now, really is uh, uh, exceptional, 8 out of 10. I'm delighted that Dave is happy with all that we've done to upgrade the security at Amrit and Wendy's home. I've got my fingers crossed, they all feel the same way too. Just waiting for Amrit and Wendy to turn up and see what we've done to their house. I'm a bit nervous, but I hope they like it. And here they are. Hey Amrit, how you doing? Not bad, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Oh, good God. to see you both. How you doing? Thank you. You alright? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey Wendy, Hi. how are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you nervous? A little bit, yeah. Oh, <laughs> come here, good to see you. And you too, darling. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, they're, they're, what we've done to your house is make it as secure as we possibly can because yes. we do not want any hint of uh, a second offence to come back. We just don't want any offenders to try and get into your home. So it's nice and safe now. We've got on the front door there a brand new lock. That is the strongest we can possibly get. There yeah. is absolutely no way anyone would be able to snap it out like they did before yeah. and get in. Now, in addition to that really strong door lock, yeah. we've gone one step further than that. Okay. So if you just let me whiz in front of you, come with me, okay. just look up. Wow. See you there? Oh, wow. So we've yeah, got my goodness. a brand new burglar alarm system that we've put in. Fantastic. So you're, and yeah, you've, yeah. you've seen it. We've yeah. got a light up Brilliant. there as well. That's got a little Brilliant. sensor on the light. So if anyone was to walk through in darkness, yeah. it would illuminate. Fantastic. So it's going to look OK. And it just, I think it just gives that impression that this place is protected. Absolutely. If anyone's to walk past and see that, they'll think, hey, Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. That Thank is you. absolutely fantastic. Good, it's I'm brilliant. Great. OK, obviously the rear of your house now, and if you just look up for me, right oh, at the top. Look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fantastic, yeah. Put brilliant. another light in. On the night of the event, yeah. this is how they got in, wasn't yes, it? Through it your was. back conservatory door and then via your patio yes. door on the inside. So that lock has been changed for the, the super strong one that you've yes. now got at the front yeah. as yes. well. Also, on the doors, we've put what they call contacts. We've also got the sensors on the inside. Should anyone go in through a window, for yeah. example, it's going to set the alarm off as well. Brilliant. So you've got all absolutely round security. Yeah, absolutely it's fantastic. Good. These are all the security items that we fitted to your property. So it is much, much safer now. Yeah. But we wanted to do a little extra for you. So on the inside, 
there's something that we've done upstairs in your bedroom. Oh, oh right. okay. <laughs> Would you like to have a look <laughs> yes, at that? Yes, absolutely. Course, yeah. I'm hoping they will be as delighted with what we've done upstairs as they are with the new security measures. This devoted couple's bedroom has become the room they now associate with uninvited burglars rifling through their belongings.